Hey friends, Tony Powers here with the Pooter Stomper channel and instructor at the Pathfinder School. And I'm just out on a little hike here, uh, scouting a few areas to maybe place some foothold traps. And I came across this big black walnut tree. Now in the fall time, these walnuts, which I think one just hit the ground right there, I probably shouldn't be standing here. But once these walnuts hit the ground and roll away, they'll try to take root. And one thing that they do that's pretty interesting is they will release a herbicide. I believe it's called juggling and what that will do is just kill all the vegetation surrounding them that way they don't have any competition they can take root and grow another walnut tree now this is about what they look like though well, this is a little bit past ripe but once they get ripe they hit the ground and then they slowly turn into this now before we talk about this I can't actually show you the leaves of this walnut tree. This is the only one I see around here, and this thing is 80 feet tall. So maybe I can put a little picture right here of what they look like. Now, once they start to decay, they'll actually turn black. Now, all this black stuff in here is really just iodine. Black walnuts are probably the best source of natural iodine, and it's great for cuts, it's great for scratches, burns, even great for poison ivy. So you just take this right here, maybe rub it on a wound, and it's got some disinfectant properties. Also, I don't know if you can see that, but it's dyed my arm like a reddish brown. Great for dyeing traps, clothing, things like that. Now the leaves themselves have some great properties. You can uh, do an infusion where you just take some hot water, put the leaves in the hot water, and you can use it to you know put over some poison ivy a black walnut tree is a great tree to know and most important is the actual walnut itself inside of this husk we'll break this down and show you what that looks like now the walnuts that you get at the stores are actually english walnuts and they're going to taste a little bit different than these i myself i'm not a huge fan of walnuts but you know you go a couple days without eating these actually sound pretty good so we're just going to remove all of this. We're going to take it over to the creek, wash it off, and then we'll break this bad dude open. All right, so I've cleaned this off about as best as I can, and you can see my hands there. Once, once this gets wet, after I wash it in the creek, it actually tans even better. So we're just going to break this open here. Be careful not to hit your fingers. Let's see how that did. You see all that walnut meat inside there. Walnuts are actually high in fat and high in protein. Let's just try a little bit here. Let's just break this open a little bit more. Once again, watch your fingers. Now this can be very difficult to get to. It may not yield a bunch of calories per walnut, but in a survival situation, it's uh, very welcome. So, But you just keep breaking these down like so and you can fish all these little pieces of walnut out a black walnut tree is a great tree to know in a self-reliance situation or a survival situation they have many uses they provide calories the iodine that's in the husks themselves provides uh, disinfectant properties um, also the leaves themselves can be made into a wash to uh, put over poison ivy and things like that so it's a great tree to know it's a great tree to be able to recognize in the woods find out if it's in your area i'm in the midwest and walnut trees are everywhere so i'm pretty lucky in that regard um, just check you know find out if they're in your area go out try to find them and uh, break one open and see if you like them better than the ones that are in the stores i just want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video i hope you learned something new um, if you guys want to check out the gear that I use in all my videos, you can find them in the three links that are down in my description box. Check those out. It really helps me out. And also follow me on my social media. I'll have those down in the description box as well. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.